Stranger Things is amazing. I don't know what to say. Let's just jump in. Uh, I've... I watched Stranger Things. I wasn't too sure about it. Um, but it is by far one of the, if not the best, Netflix show I've ever watched. It's up there with the greats like Breaking Bad and I'd say Walking Dead too. Um, there's just not much I can say about it. It's just so good. Um... Uh, it was captivating, the characters were written very well and acted like kids. Me knowing a bunch of kids because I am a kid. Uh, it really was how we speak and act towards each other. Um, but we don't yeah, cuss as much. Um, overall, I love the show, but let's get into my favorite aspects. Of course, Eleven was amazing, which is funny that I have her haircut right when I'm doing this review. It wasn't intentional, but I loved Eleven. Um, her character was shy, and I want to see more of her and see how she's related to the Demogorgon, as it seemed she knew how to defeat her, or defeat it, uh, as, spoiler alert, he, she did in the last episode. Um, I thought the villains were kind of weak, and I felt really bad for the, um, sh like, uh, burger joint owner who got shot in the face. I felt bad. I remember, spoilers, I'm going to spoil some deaths and stuff. Um, Barb, that death sucked. Which, I thought that they were gonna get her out of the Upside Down too, but no. Like, no, she's dead. Like, she's not, she's not coming back. Um, but, uh, I'd have to say my favorite character was, uh, um, ha, huh. the kid who spends the most time with Eleven, uh, we got to see his story the most, I I'm sorry I don't forget, or I don't remember the name, Dustin would be my second, I feel like the black kid <laughs> didn't get enough, uh, attention, we could have explored his culture and what it's like to be that race in that time, so that was a very big missed opportunity, he was just the black friend, I feel, um, which kind of sucks, I, I wish we would have seen him a little bit more. Um, huh, there's really just, I can say so much about the series, I'm forgetting what to say. Uh, overall, it's one of the best series ever, and I am so excited for season two. I'm excited to see some of the mysteries really be solved, and some of them come back to, or in some of the mysteries, or some new mysteries are formed. Uh, I've read a bunch of theories, and I love them. Uh, the fans of the show are very creative and everything, and overall, I'd say this gets, for me, a 10 out of 10. Which, I would love to see this as a comic. I mean, sure, shows are cool and all, but as you can see, since my channel's based on comics, uh, I would have loved to see this in a comic format instead of a TV format, but what you gonna do? But... Don't tell me this wouldn't be perfect as an image title. Which, uh, I'm not going to get into comic jargon at the moment. But, yeah, great series. And check it out. I mean, if you have Netflix or know a friend who has Netflix, watch it immediately. Um, this is one of the best shows on TV right now. It's not on TV, but you get what I mean. There are so many um, heart-wrenching moments and moments that are make you go like, oh, No, don't do that. No, ah. Uh. Uh, it's a mix of horror, comedy, and drama, which I love. And it's cool to see how these kids react to these super serious situations like they're nothing. Well, uh, but, uh, yeah, go check it out. Um, Lazy Bus Studios, out.